Hello, my loves. Welcome back. It's me, Jess. It's an honor to be able to shuffle and pull cards for you guys today. Today in the format of pick a card readings, not private readings or Bahati love notes, which has been so much, has been giving so much lately. So clearly, as you can tell, we have three different piles here. Pile number one, which I'm lighting for you now. We'll be using candle, the candle flame to decide, to determine which is your pile. Just gonna give you some time to connect with the flame. I trust in your intuition. Okay, that's pile number one, message from your guides. Pile number two, actually I'm gonna use this candle. Pile number two, message from your guides. I'm just gonna allow you to connect with the flame. A slow build. It's pile number two. And then pile number three, I'm feeling this one. For those of you guys that have never used flames for manifestation or for divination just allow your intuition to lead the way here i promise you you are far more intuitive and connected than you think that you are and this is pile number three a strong flame okay as I go through each of the piles during your reading, I'm going to use the your candle in order to speak directly to me um, so I can give you even more layers to your message. But these will be messages from your guides. And of course, I'll meet you at your right, time. My loves, if you chose this candle, this is your reading and this is your flame. So I'm gonna start with the flame first. I love, 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 love candle magic. As you guys can see, I have my candle burning over here, over my left shoulder. There's this emphasis on um, focus right now for you. I get this strong sense from the flame that there's, um, I don't know if you're second guessing something or you just don't feel strong in something. I'm also feeling like a need for vitamins It's almost giving me um, like the energy of exhaustion. For people who are focusing on, for people who are focusing on um, health and fitness, your guides right now want you to make sure that you're not overextending yourself or running yourself down in the pursuit of health and for the pursuit of your goals. This message also applies to life, like how you, your work ethic. There's this message about making sure that you're not running yourself down. Spirit wants to reference your, your focus and your determination. Something spoke directly to you. You're, some of you guys feel like, I'm, I'm getting this strong like side-by-side -side energy. So. It's, it's almost as if your guides or you have decided for yourself that you are going to work towards this goal. You know that this goal is for your highest and greatest good. It's in your best interest. But there's a level of focus and determination that is tapping into your shadow self that then says, guys, like, yes, you heard the call to, to move and to make moves and to start working on this thing or to focus on your health, make health your priority, focus on your business, make your business your priority, but also the shadow self, I just heard is like a leech and still attached onto this. So it, it's kind of sucking in from that space of a divine intervention, a divine message and makes, it is contributing, like the shadow self is contributing to your goal. And even though the goal is from a higher place, the shadow self is contributing to it, so it's making you kind of run yourself down. Spirit is also referring to the fact that this leech could actually be a person um, that reflects the shadow self. 
this is kind of tricky to kind of sh um, talk about because yeah, sometimes I don't have the right words, but um, our shadow selves, of course, are conscious, like they're in our, within us, right? Um, and they're from another realm that we embody. And it has a way of materializing or sh manifesting in a material form where we can touch it. So it can represent a person, it can show up as a job. And I, as I'm saying this, spirit, you may be, a, I don't, I'm, I keep seeing like a runner energy or the, the symbolism of a runner, a person who runs and they just want to They want to acknowledge your goal and on, acknowledge your focus and your determination, but they also don't want you to hurt yourself in the pursuit of fill in the blank, whatever this represents for you right now. They're now wanting to talk about relationships, like connections. I'm hearing something feels a little, um, it's interesting. It's like there's this hole here. Like when it comes to the love relationship, I don't know if this is an absence of a person in your life or if you're in a relationship, there's a hole here that is waiting to be filled with something that it wants to bloom and bud and grow. And Spirit is saying, start working on those two things. Start working on your goal, your focus, but also begin to fill this hole with the intention of what, of what you need to grow here. It actually feels very promising. So let's say if you've been single for a minute, the, the space that you've been working to dig this hole in your life or to make room for a, a significant relationship in your life has been, you've really put, so there's this effort that you've been putting in into, at least from what I can see, the areas within your life, but there's this exhaustion that is coming from digging the hole in the first place. Spirit wants to say that um, they're giving me a vision of someone who's at the side of, a, of the beach or the shore and the water's kind of like rushing up and pulling back and wash, rushing up and pulling back and you're watching it with anxiety. Do you see how that flame just trembled? You're watching with anxiety and trying to push the, the ocean waves away from this hole that you worked so hard to build. But the truth is, is that the thing that is that you fear, the thing that, yeah, that you're, you're making your magic kind of waver, right? You're making your magic waver because what if, I, I'm hearing spirit say, what if the ocean wave is exactly what's gonna be bringing in the blessing and dropping it right into your lap, dropping it right into the hole. I, I heard that if you return back to, if you return back to where you once were when you were setting the intention um, also, I just heard two to three weeks. Um, if you return back to the hole where you once were, you're going to find, you're going to find a, the gift. You're going to find the treasure. You're going to find the token and you're going to be surprised what you find. I just heard spirit, your, your spirit guide saying like, we're not here to lead you astray. We're actually, the, where we're taking you right now is like, not where you're like meant to go, but it's where it's like, it's perfect, you know? Even if you may not, you may be looking at this empty hole and watching things kind of nearing it and you might be shaky. There's a shakiness that it is that I'm feeling. It's still contributing to this. I'm also getting a strong sense here of forgetfulness um, and that your guides wanna say that this is because of a, an overworked brain, a brain that's constantly thinking um, I'm also hearing um, self-sabotage, and I don't know why, but I'm seeing very specific message. Spirit just put a blanket over your head, like an actual, it's actually a burlap sack. And when they do this, they just don't want you to see clearly what's supposed to happen here because you have a tendency to panic or overthink or try to control the situation, and they just don't need you to see it. However, when the burlap, the spiritual bur burlap sack is over your head, it, um, you panic even more and you try to control and to fight the situation and your guides are saying, we put this over your head for a reason. Have trust and have faith. You have this feeling, like as I'm looking at this candle right now, it's pulling towards me. 
it's actually pulling towards me so this is showing me right now that you need to hear me say to you that you are a powerful creator some of you guys look at me and this is such so beautiful thank you um, some of you guys look at me and you say, look at what she's created, look at what she's manifested. Your guides need me to tell you that we can we can manifest, we can create together. If I can do it, you can do it in the symbolism of 808. You are a powerful creator. You are a powerful creator. You need to hear it. Um, they're saying to share with with you with you what works for me and what works for me is my focus. So, but it's interesting because, okay, we have similarities, you and I. <laughs> so the same thing that works for me is the same thing that can be my detriment. So I use my focus when I'm manifesting, when I'm working my, working fixed candles and working oils, right? I use that at my altar for others, for myself, in every single area of my life. There's not one space of my life that's not touched by magic. And that's why I have a magical life, right? But on the flip side, my focus and my determination has also been something that I've had to work to balance. And if I am too locked in, if I'm too focused, I have a tendency sometimes to miss to miss certain things in life. Like, you know, when they say you can't see the forest for the trees, it's kind of that situation. It's interesting too because spirit is kind of making me revisit the idea of the beach where we go there to relax, to enjoy, to play. I'm seeing that for some people, you might go to the beach to work magic or go to the ocean or go to these places in nature or wherever you feel called to go, these sacred places or to your altar to work, to do work, AKA to manifest, to pray, to set intention. And the divine really wants you to, or your guides are also asking this, your ancestors are also asking this, to, it's, we, 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 we will work with you. We are here to work with you, but we also want to play with you. Like we want to play in the process because that too is a very important piece of your journey. Someone, I okay, I just, the flame started nearing toward the past. So there's this connection of interesting, like you, I don't know if you're looking towards a, a, a past. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the flame keeps wanting to draw to the past. So you might be referencing the, your past self or who you once were or what you look like. This could even be weight, like a weight related goal, which makes sense with the fitness stuff. Um, don't harm yourself in the pursuit of the goal if that's truly the case here. Um, Spirit is trying to tell you that how you are now is exactly where you should be. Like this is exactly where you need to be. This too is an important part of your journey and nothing would be changed by us. If anything, we would ask you to relax and to trust us a little bit more. Some of you guys have this sense like I'm seeing the candle kind of jump. So in that you're looking and then it pulls upwards. So you, some of you guys are looking for spiritual direction to help you to understand why did this have to happen? Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen the way that it did? It's a, it's a quick, yeah, the, it goes back to the past and it says it's a quick, a quick answer is to say like, oh yeah, it's a part of the lesson. But the truth is, is that the past shows you a, what you can create now. B, to trust in the divine path, right? And and your, your, not your potential, but what is here right now. Like what you can do with this whole, like what you can create in this space. Also, Spirit wants to say that no matter how you think that you're showing up, you're always going to be our number one focus. You're always going to be the same creator, the same magnetic being the same person who has the capacity to 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 create to manifest to set intention to achieve a goal to whatever fill in the blank what ends up changing is how you ultimately feel about yourself and how you move about going after that change or that transition pursuing that change in that transition the truth is is that in this moment spirit is pulling up to the top and then going to the the right so we're looking for direction for the future um, the truth is, is that you get to create your day-to-day -day experiences at this moment. So let's not make, if you have the ability to create your day-to-day, -day, let's not make every single day something that is, um, I don't want to say brutal, but something that feels 
like punishing to you or like you have you have to do this because spirit wants you to incorporate you achieving your goal along with you enjoying the process of achieving your goal not just you punishing yourself in the pursuit of what you are manifesting or what your goal is or where you are headed there's a very emphasis there's huge emphasis on the power of play also your angels and your guides um, are ready to be done now but your angels and your guides want you to I don't I just heard like women's teas like raspberry leaf tea taking teas that su support feminine feminine um, energies working magic or intention to allow you to lean into more feminine magic women magic specifically women magic okay so let's look at your oracle cards yeah chaos and conflict it's interesting because do you see how this zebra is kind of changing his stripes like it's a zebra and a giraffe actually now that i think about it so some of you guys are truthfully in a space right now of major transition from who you once were to who you are now and there's a natural feeling here of comparison and that's creating some type of internal conflict within you and chaos too yeah treasure island this is exactly what it is i'm saying you you've and also the ocean the symbolism of the ocean like something is coming in i get this strong sense of something is coming in but that's not something that we can control in fact a storm from the future or from the past or over there brings tends to bring in the gift the blessing it's just how it is like you need things to disrupt the current status quo for things to change and that's exactly what's happening here yeah we have um the child so this is about embracing your your inner child and also nurturing yourself being more gentle and kind on yourself if you watched a child running a track meet and they were tripping and falling would you look at them and be like get up you <laughs> fill in the blank <laughs> It's not funny. I just heard the voice of like people from Philly, but um, yeah, you wouldn't do that. You would you would say like, come on, try again, try again, or it's time for a break. We're going to Chuck E. Cheese, or we're going to the beach, and you need to play. You need to play. So that give yourself that same level of energy, and also allow yourself to be inspired by the children in your life or a child in your life. Okay. I can't even make this up even if I wanted to guys look we have receptivity and female essence this is exactly what is that saying and then we have collard greens wealth and security so something of course here is paying off there is a treasure that's making its way for you but receptivity and feminine energy playfulness joy relaxation and ease are also as equally as important as the work the dedication the ambition and the commitment to the journey itself okay so your guides really need you to know that um, you might be creating a bit more spiritual chaos and spiritual discord when play is your, or they just wanna play with you, like they just really wanna chill. Oh my God, is that bird? Oh my God, I think it's burb. Guys, it's Burb. It's Burb. I gotta go. For those of you guys that don't know, I took care of a pigeon and he just came back. Okay, I gotta go. The next card here is Tenderness Crocodile. It kind of like hides and I'll just let you know. I gotta go. I love you. So sorry about that. Pile number one or message number one. I don't really like calling you guys piles. Um, yeah, so I was taking care of a baby bird and we thought he, aka Burb, was a boy and it looks like Burb is a girl and she just came back and she looks so healthy and that just makes me so happy. And if you're asking how I know, um, we would call Burb is her name, apparently. She's a girl. Um, but we would call her by beep, 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 beep. And she immediately reacted and flew to the door and then walked to the from the fence to the door and then flew to the spot that I would actually feed her when she was a Burb. And um, I went to go grab food, but it is what it is. Okay, so Crocodile here is tenderness and do you see how intimidating a crocodile look at that face 
But it's true, crocodiles are amazing mothers. They're fiercely protective and they're also very gentle. They can carry their babies and they do carry their babies in their mouths. The same mouths that can crush. So this is a message for you, my love. Another message that your guides wanna say is the same things that make you powerful are and and either protect and provide for you are the same things that should be in this case stretched from a space of tenderness so that you don't hurt or crush the very things that is that you want the most or that you're manifesting okay so thank you so much for being patient with me as i got super excited about burr being here and i'm going to move on to the second message I'm lighting that candle now relighting Ooh. okay so clearly there is a late start here it's like a little flame that is struggling to emerge you need a lot of encouragement right now. Your guides are trying to find new ways to encourage you, but I'm also getting the strong sense that what they're sending you doesn't feel like, like the way that you're receiving it, it doesn't feel like it's enough for you. You need more encouragement. Your guides are saying that this is something that will come to you and build up over time, that we can send you so many signs and signals, but when you're ready to believe them or when you're spiritually strong enough or when you trust the process enough, then that's when you will begin to start to believe in yourself or trust in your own footing. It's interesting because you might be someone who is very knowledgeable or very strong or very empowered or very vocal or very opinionated. Yeah, see how the flames started getting a lot more stronger and starts dancing around? This, you might be someone who is very vocal and I think that what the voice that is that you have within you is deceptive of how you might be coming across right now. And it's because right now you're in a season in your life where you just need a lot more encouragement, which is interesting because people, I don't know if people would automatically assume that you're confident. There's something about this season or chapter in your life that's call, causing you to second guess second guess yourself the process the journey and you just need some encouragement but that will come with time there's this really strong message about come that's coming in time 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 there's something about that word time um yeah they're saying that you might not feel the most confident right now but taking action with time right now right so you don't need to be or feel the most confident to put yourself out there to speak up or whatever the case is. I don't know what this is, but there's something here that you're waiting for confirmation, you're waiting for encouragement. And again, you're you're not wasting time, but you're biding time by saying, well, if I get a little bit more clarification then, and that's something that will come with time. So if that's the case, then begin now. Your guides are really, see how it just swooped? Did you see that little swoop there? They really want you to like pick up where you're, where you're at Pick up where you're at and we're ready to go. I don't know why I'm seeing someone cooking. I'm seeing like seasonings, emphasis on the word seasonings. Okay, something about the past. So you might have, um, you might be going back to your home base. You might be, something here feels like you might be finding your way to your home or building a home and taking things from the past that you've learned that you liked and incorporating it now and that's giving you that's I don't know if you guys can see this the flame starts it's giving you strength right there so this could be the food that is that you're eating what your 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 or going to places that have food that is spiritually nourishing that they cook from the heart you might be Something about the past, your 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 guides, even with that bird just now, there's something about the past that feels like it's kind of haunting you. I'm hearing, how can I move past this? Some of you guys are calling it as a blockage. 
Um, but spirit, actually your guides don't really see it as a blockage. They see it as, yeah, guys. So when the birds start calling like that and my chickens get upset, um, there's usually an enemy in the air or around. And I, I genuinely feel like that is not a coincidence. There's something from the past that is lurking and like it's, and that's another thing too. I don't know if this is a memory of the past or something from the past that has contributed to you feeling self doubt or insecurity right now or questioning yourself. I'm also getting a strong sense that maybe there's a root here that feels like you weren't supported. So when you start a new journey, a new chapter, you kind of revert back to that, that old space. Um, that needs time. It just needs time. You don't, if that's a space within you that is wounded um, or that you've lived through, you've grown through, you've worked to heal, you don't just work that muscle in the way that you would if it was a super healthy, strong, supported all of its life. You, you ease into it. So Spirit is saying to start where you're at right now, wherever that looks like. You don't need to necessarily believe in yourself, but the belief will come in time, especially if you start making moves in this chapter in your life. There's something here that you're you're starting to move. Um, also, you you have this spirit wants you to expand your horizons. The, the, the flame keeps flickering around. You're you're paying so much attention to this enemy or this thing or this past or the insecurity and the doubt, and they want you to open your perspective and see all of what is here, all of what can happen. It's like you're tightening, you, you've tightened yourself. I almost am getting a sense of like an, an asthma attack or something going on with the lungs. Um, look at the symbolism, the spiritual symbolism of the lungs. Yeah, do you see how the flame is pulling, pulling, pulling? You guys can't see the flame, just trust me. All right, let's look at your oracle here. Actually, no, they wanna talk about the future. Okay, they're saying, let's talk about the future through the tarot. And then we'll move on to the cards. I just heard the word um, venturing into the unknown, exploring all the different options. Yeah, so they have been referencing your, your intuition, your intuition, like your dreams, specifically your dreams. I can't tell if this is like actual dreams that you have at night when you're sleeping or during the day when you're sleeping, whatever floats your boat, or actual dreams that you have about your life. And these are things that are going to, they, they need, I'm hearing they need to come to fruition. Um, but that can't happen if you're staying in the space where you're allowing your, your second guessing of this thing to stop you from really putting yourself completely out there. It's interesting because I get this strong sense of a, a person who is, you would never know that they have any type of doubt or internal restriction, but they're, this is something that you're internally kind of facing. It's almost like you're launching a new brand or launching a new business or nonprofit or, or starting this new chapter in your life. And you would think, people would think like, look how smart they are look how beautiful they are they have everything that they need to be successful I could they would never think for one second that you have any type of self-doubt um, yeah yeah ten of cups is here I love this card uh, for the sake of the family of course but also the fact that they contributed animals here the dog and the cat love that yeah, see, Knight of Wands, this is the card of action. So again, this is your guides confirming to you that they want to see you make action. And also the Knight of Wands is unnecessarily confident in itself. <laughs> and they want you to embody that energy too. Be bold, be brazen, go after it. Even with the Three of Cups here, it's interesting because I this could be the card of community, absolutely, but I don't want it to be the card of comparison or you staying in, in the nest and not leaving the nest. These cards, these energies here are supporting this baby bird to leave the nest eventually. So in time, that's what it is that you're working towards. You'll get there. Also with 10 of cups card, card showing up, it has a lot to do with your happiness. 
with all of the pieces of the puzzle falling together and that's what you can intuitively sense there but you queen of swords energy showing up you might your discernment is kind of picking apart your not your potential but what is actively growing here it's good to have a certain level of wisdom but there's this emphasis right now of you are actually very ready to go so let's go there's new possibility the only thing that they want you to do is open the possibility here instead of saying it can only happen in this one way and the reason why you feel that way is because you do have a certain level of wisdom that makes you believe that okay let's look at your oracle cards shall we yep higher power so this is your intuition the guides talking to you you know the path you know the plan you know what's up you can sense it you can feel it you're actively manifesting it it's already been given to you. I think that you just need some encouragement. Wow, here and now. I can't make that up, that's perfect. This is spirit saying, don't look toward the past, don't look to the future, start where you are right now. You have what it takes. Yep, says you are here and that's exactly where you should be. Start where you're at. Poised, look guys, this is the card of I am ready. I am ready. Do you see how she expands? This feels like a big breath of fresh air. Her wings expand. You are ready. Some of you guys are like, I'm, I'm hearing that I can't, like, I haven't seen the signs that this is happening. And if I'm ready, like, just, I've been working my magic. I've been setting my intention. And they're saying, open your perspective, open your window so that you... And it's another thing to be working at your altar or working with your guides or praying about it. And it's another thing to be like, okay, now I'm putting myself out there. Or now I'm going to be more open to different things. We have the healer here. Wow. Yeah, so this uh, this me message is so interesting to me because sometimes when I see the healer, I see someone who is capable and confident with their healing. They know that they can heal others. But usually that comes from a place where they themselves have lived through something that taught them how to heal, taught them how to look for the medicine. So I think that this is a sign here specifically about your journey and what's ahead of you. I'm also feeling that this is like a key to what your guides are asking you to receive right now is that you're ready to heal others or you're ready to begin learning how to heal others. We have gratitude, wow, guys, oh my goodness, I can't make this up. We have gratitude and peace, but shyness, shyness, I'm telling you there's this energy of like shyness and needing to encourage. Also, this is the card of ethereal beauty. And then we have Hickory, the Hickory here, card here, release and letting go. So this is about not letting go of this dream, but actually letting go of the parts of you that stop you from feeling confident and secure and starting and, and venturing out there. Like letting go of the original and opening up for, the, for what your guides are trying to bring into your life. <laughs> Look at him upside down self-nurture this is exactly what it is that i'm saying and feeling that i feel like there's this message about nurturing yourself and in time you see how bats kind of like stay in the dark and they wait for the dark to the night to come and then they leave their caves and unfold their wings <laughs> it's like you're this little flying fox where not that anything about you needs to change you don't need to go from the dark into the light but it's like, I also think about like how bats when they hang upside down and when they poop, they have to like put their bottoms right side up. So it's like the, your comfortableness, your safe space, your cocoon can actually sometimes inconvenience you. Don't know why that's the message that's coming through, but that's what's coming through. All right, guys. So I hope that that resonates with you. Um, if you need me, you know, you can find me in the apothecary working my magic, of course. Clearly, you've been working your own magic here. All right, so let's just uh, believe in ourselves as much as we can. Take the encouragement or ask your angels and your guides for additional encouragement and trust what they're telling you. All right, my loves, I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hello, darling. This is the candle for those who chose the third message. Thank you for being here.
I'm gonna read the flame and I'm getting this immediate message from your guides about we're taking you to new heights. I just heard the word abnormal and I'm hearing the word gifted. There's a really grounding energy coming from your flame. You might have been working a lot on grounding or this is the blessing that your guides are giving to you right now is to ground and to center. I'm also hearing that a gift that they want to give you is to cool your thoughts. They don't want you your your thoughts or your heart racing, so this might have to do with anxiety or tension or fear. Or even like swings and connections and relationships they don't want the up and down for you everything is meant to like calm down for some of you guys if you're not careful you'll immediately bring this to us think of this as like boredom but it's not boredom it's actually what peace looks like I also heard the word this is a space of the sanctuary Someone might have uh, recently given up alcohol. Or uh, I don't want to say detox, but is they're removing something from their diet or their lifestyle that was poisonous. Like that they, when they are, you're consuming it, they know, I don't know why I'm saying they, when you're consuming it, you know that it's not good for you. Um, but it's just like something that's accepted. I just saw two turn into three, so this is like two two things turn somehow split into three. I don't know what that means. I heard that um, I heard the word guardian with the energy of two to three. So this process is being is cherished is what I just heard cherished by the guides and being protected by your guides, also your ancestors. The divine is making this their room. I just heard there's room to grow. So I can't tell if you are making space in your house, in your home, in your heart for something to grow here and to expand. There's a strong sense of you know exactly what it is that you want. You know exactly what it is that you want. You're almost impatient. Not almost, you are impatient. Oh, I didn't realize the second pile is still burning here. Interesting. Yeah, there's this really strong message here about being grounded and centered and stabilized and to not race out of this place within your life. Spirit really, the word that I'm hearing is like renewal. They really are, your life right now or your journey is meant to be something that is giving you the spirit of renewal. It's meant to, it's not meant to be loud, obnoxious. It's actually a very powerful, quiet, grounded, stable space. And if you are not careful, there's this, your guides really want you to know that if you're not careful, you could disrupt, disrupt this process because you're so used to poison is what I'm hearing. But poison means like things that aren't actually good for you. So maybe you're so used to like moving and entertainment and just constantly moving around. As I said that, I don't know if you saw it, but a little ember burnt, like, was released there. So I, I'm actually getting a strong sense that you being a grounded, stable support for yourself ends up somehow being supportive and grounded and contributes to the energy and the light of others. Or another. It doesn't have to be a whole community. It could be a person, someone who really looks up to you. Oh my God, it happened again, <gasps> again. 
you're drawing something to you, honey. Oh my God, you are drawing something to you. It is in the works. I am very excited. Yep, it keeps happening. There's something that is coming in. It's, it's finding the right time. Something keeps repelling it back though. It's like, what is this? I don't know what this is. It's kind of making me want to laugh. You know what it is? Spirit is protecting you from, from outside influences that are trying to come in and disrupt your peace. Every time they come in, spirit makes them get pushed off. This has been a common message that's been coming up a lot lately that you're almost oblivious, rightfully so. You're almost oblivious to the realms of protection that are around you right now because your guides will not allow anything to uproot your ability to ground and center yourself. And they're almost saying like, this is a, an important space or season in your life where you're supposed to be grounded right now or grounding. It's making you strong. It's making you stable. It's the way that it should be. And anything that tries to come in that might be poisonous or toxic or put you back into a position where you are having toxic patterns or to talk like things that aren't good for you, it will immediately repel them without you don't even realize it. You, okay, you know that you're in this right place in your life, but you second guess it because you're so used to sh like moving it through your life in a specific way that it isn't conducive to the long haul. I'm really excited to see your tarot, to be honest. Not your tarot, but your oracle. But I guess I said tarot for a reason, so we're gonna have to pull tarot now. There's this energy of you being, you were tired, but you're so strong that you don't see, you don't see yourself as tired. Like, you, you, you're so strong and so powerful and so connected to your will that you don't register being tired. I don't know how to explain that. That's just how it's coming through. Like, you don't register how tired you might have been or you might be. So that's why spirits like I know that you want to move on to the next thing and jump into the next venture and jump into the next chapter and go 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 and begin and you know or carry this thing forward or create or expand or you know but actually and I just looked at the time just now 808 actually yeah you don't want to burn out <laughs> say less <laughs> It's so important. Yeah, six of swords. You're moving from, you're moving away from energies that were very, you're moving, you're moving away from energies that you had to, it's like you're so, you're so accustomed to paddling that it's weird for you to, once you get to your, to the shore, it's weird for you to get out of the boat and be like, well, this is why I was paddling so hard to begin with. And now that you're here, you, you're, you're, the waters are trying to smooth out for you and ground and stabilize, stabilize yourself and your angels and your guides. I'm also seeing they're, they're not calling, like putting out the flame, like your light or your flame, but the base of the reading, they want you to enjoy this chapter in your life and enjoy your own light. There's a lot of like nourishment and woman like the next stage in womanhood or the next season or the next cycle in your life women are known for our cycles and what that represents for us the highs and the lows it's very important that we're not constantly engaging or feeding others we it's very also very important that we're not selfish and not sharing you know so there's this space right now where you're just things are being evened out some of you guys, I feel, whoa, I was just about to say this. Some of you guys really feel like you're lost in this chapter in your life right now. And the truth is, you're, you're not lost. It's just new territory. And you're not accustomed to this, new, to this new energy or this new season or this Queen of Cups type of energy. It's new to you. So there's a bit of an adjustment stage right now. But your guys are really telling you that you're actually right where you need to be. This actually feels very, very good. Don't let the Five of Pentacles energy kind of fool you here. I'm known for looking at tarot and seeing the spiritual message and not exclusively 
what it should mean and what it should represent. Spirit does not contain itself to just one thing. I am so ready to open up the Sacred Circle Tarot, but like I need to, I'm still working on those videos and I don't want to rush through it. Okay. Oh, this card wants to come out. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. This is what's growing here. This is what's growing right now in your life. And with it is not just abundance or a new project. It's something that gives you strength and purpose, like adds to your purpose. I also feel like with the Five of Pentacles, you may be, I hope not, but I'm getting this strong message to say this to you, that make sure that the cup that is that you're holding is not things that you won't allow yourself like let's five of pentacles right so let's say and six of swords let's say it's not or let's hope that it's not your mistakes or shame or like damn i should have known better i should have done better spirit really wants you to let that go and to move forward they're saying like everything up until this point has actually led you to the place that is that you're meant to be not only did you carry yourself, but you carried the energy of a lot of others. That's the real wealth here. And, and the real wealth also for you is being in a place right now where you can be moved into more lovely waters where you can feel this Queen of Cups energy very vibrant and nurtured and supported and the things that it is that you're that you are growing or that you've grown you're you're enjoying them like your rest is something that you're not jumping up from and yeah see three of pentacles so there's something here that is that you want to create or that you want to add that you want to contribute to the world your purpose and i also feel like it's something that is selfishly yours like you don't want to share it with others it's something that gives you pleasure. So with that, you don't just paint the picture quick. You take like slow brush, brush, brush strokes, brush strokes. You take your time with creating this masterpiece and you enjoy it. It's art. I want to tell you guys to truly forgive yourself for the mistakes of the past. Forgive yourself from the lessons that or the things that have happened. Um, not even forgive yourself, but also forgive others for the ways that you have been hurt by them or sabotaged. Because, yeah, there's a new light here, a new life that wants to enter. And it's very gentle. It's very peaceful. Yep, you're manifesting right now. It's very cathartic. It's so important that you let go of the past. You're spiritually being called to let go of the past. And forgive other people or forgive energies around you that ultimately might be having you stuck on the shore and even though they whoever this person is they might have lived, moved on with their life they're not even thinking about you or whatever i don't know this is a very specific message for someone or they're there you feel like they might be in a better place it's so important that you let go of what happened releasing judgment releasing expectations of you know just forgive the situation because there's this new life there's this new energy there's this new hope and i just don't think that it can happen this is what your guides are saying right now like it can't happen if your mind or if your intention or if your energy is muddled i also again want to tell you that you're in the right place at the right time now let's look at your oracle guards because i cannot wait any longer simply cannot okay let's see what do we have here tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock i don't know what this means for you <laughs> i have my initial thought yeah some of you guys wow wow some of you guys feel like you're running out of time ten of pentacles and the four of swords if i'm resting or if i'm in this space am i i'm i only know the burden i only know the journey i just tick tock i want to go i want to carry it to the finish line Imagine having this goal or this thing that you are carrying. Oh my God, dude. Maybe this is like all the things in time, like all the things that you have carried over time. I also feel like rest is an important part of the journey right now. 
and you're not wasting time by resting. What else do we have here? Come to the edge. This is about, I, if I remember correctly, and you guys please let me know in the comments, but um, this is about being where you're at right now as you are and just taking that leap and that risk. Some of you guys feel like it's interesting because you may be someone who is so used to launching like into things like starting new chapters, new journeys, whatever. So for you, come to the edge actually means like being in a period of relaxation and peace and being grounded. Like that is difficult for you. I'm also getting this strong a message of, yeah, time to go, um, motherhood, parenting, or like a guru, like a guru, a teacher, someone who looks after the the wellness of others. Oh my God, we have the rebel here. Yeah, time to go, the rebel. Something here about like really letting letting things letting it down, letting it go, what type of burdens that is that you have, just lay them to rest. If you have tension or conflict or drama or just not aligned with certain people, that's something too. It's, it's time for you to let it go. If you have expectations or things that you're just like, you can't help but to be like, I'm going my way, I'm doing things my thing, do it, but don't do it with resentment or with a grudge. Something here says like, in time, things will pass, right? But also allow your heart to be free. Yep. Crate Myrtle, self-expression and flow, life and death. Uh, both, I don't know if you guys know this, but both of these cards represent stillness for me. Stillness and quiet. The quiet that happens with transition. And this is actually a beautiful a beautiful place to be to manifest it's the ending of one chapter in your life and the beginning of another and these are the cycles there's this energy on cycles and every new cycle is a fresh start a new beginning a new chapter a new seed and this chapter right now it's time to let that go it's literally time and it's time to now launch yourself and fully put yourself out there completely open to the, the guidance from your angels and your guides like totally to manifesting this creation it feels really really vulnerable but it feels really beautiful the last card we have here is the tiger coal coal am i saying that right yep spiritual awakening so there's a part of your journey right now a huge part of your journey that the lesson is coming in and letting go actually truly letting go of the baggage as you're moving forward You've learned a lot of lessons. It's taken plenty of time for you as as it should. And right now, your guides want to cleanse your energy. I'm getting the spirit of lemongrass, big time for you. Chamomile, um, geranium. I wanna say peppermint, but it's almost like wintergreen or spearmint. Energies that kind of like cleanse and uplift the palate so that you, you're awakened while you're resting. Also sage, some of you guys feel like with the come to the edge card, I don't know why I'm feeling like there's this energy of like, I don't wanna say exhaustion or being tired, but kind of like that level of that burden that you feel at 10 of, with 10 of wands energy when you're just like, there's a purpose to everything, but also like, you know? And I just feel like you're being spiritually awakened right now to the next chapter in your life. And this next chapter, is includes a lot of forgiveness compassion releasing guilt and also entering into a more nurturing supported stable and peaceful uh, chapter that's also very important wow so you'll have to let me know there's a lot of this reading was kind of deep but it was very calming and very centering so i i really hope that you're able to receive that all right, my loves, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I do have Bahati Love Notes on my website where I shuffle and pull cards for those who sign up every day. It's $5 a month. I was considering oh, increasing the price because $5 a month is a bit low um, for the quality of the readings and the content. But, you know, just we're in a recession and I, I always like to be generous with my people. All right. Um, yeah, if you need me, there's readings there available for you. Bahati Love Notes, again, $5 a month. 
Um, keep your eyes open for book releases that are coming. And if you, of course, need to work your magic and to go back to your altar or have a cleanse, healing waters, those types of things, I highly recommend that you check out the apothecary and I can work my magic for you there, okay? Until then, you guys, I will see you. And oh, also be mindful of your exhaustion. Ten of Wands and Four of Swords. Yeah, it's okay to rest. It's all oh, big time okay to rest. That's a part of your manifestation process right now. All right, guys, for real. I'll talk to you later. Bye.